unbeaten heavyweight contender Jarrell Miller has once again been calling out and talking about his rivals ahead of his fight on August 19th with Fred Cassie, a very, very tough and durable journeyman slash fringe contender. I'm going to quote some of the things Jarrell Miller says here because he's never short of a thing or two to say. Talking about training camp, he says, training camp is going real well. I put on a lot of muscle for this camp. I'm going to put on a lot of solid mass. I'm going to go in there and manhandle it like a, a, a chew dog. Uh, sorry, like a chew toy in a dog's mouth. I want to mangle it. I'm really committed to this training camp. I've made some changes. Less cheese, cheeseburgers. I cut down from three cheeseburgers to one cheeseburger a day. Same thing in the gym every day. Not doing anything different. My main thing is my strength and my speed. And we are going to see come August 19th. Supposedly, Fred Cassie is the most durable guy I have fought in my whole entire boxing career. That is what they are saying, and I tip my hat off to the guy. He's been in some fights where I thought he won and ended up on the wrong side of, a of the decision. When I fought other fighters, he had three, three weeks training camp, two weeks notice. He had two months to get ready for this fight, or to get ready for this. I'm not a last minute opponent. He's going to come in ready and I'm not about to underestimate him. I'm a boxer puncher and he's more one dimensional. He switches back and forth. He's not pretty at what he does, but no worries. You can look at me because I am nice at what I do. I predict a fifth, a fifth or sixth round knockout. Cassie is definitely a durable guy, but I feel once he sees my size, pressure and the speed that I bring with my footwork, it's going to be game over for him. I know for a fact I'm going to knock out Fred Cassie fifth or sixth round. That's what I do. I take your heart. I take your soul. I take your ribs. So <laughs> that's what Jerome Miller has to say about Fred Cassie. Can he be? I'm not sure. I think Cassie was stopped by Amir Mansour. I'm not sure if he's been stopped other than that. I don't think he has. I think Mansour is the only guy to have stopped him. Can he do what Mansour did and also stop him? We'll see. Anyway, he goes on to talk about Deontay Wilder. He says, Wilder is a wild man when he gets in that ring. But at the same time, if you watch how he performs, he performs at a mediocre level against mediocre fighters. If you stick him into a profession, if you stick him in to a world professional athlete like myself or top guys, you'll see him bring even more. Not saying he hasn't been in a ring of A plus fighters yet, but you can see all his loopholes in his fighting style. It's just a matter of time before he gets really exposed and I hope it's with me because I want that behind. Shorter fighters do what they do. Taller fighters do what they do. Deontay is tall, but he doesn't do what his body is designed to do. He's trying to do something that smaller guys do. So that is going to be his downfall. Like I said, it is just a matter of time and I am going to break him in half. Him and his toothpick legs. I was watching the live stream of the Wilder Areola fight and it was horrible. It was horrible because he is the heavyweight champion of the world. He doesn't understand that he is doing more damage to himself than he thinks he is. He's getting hurt. He's getting hit. He's taking some punishment. I want to fight Wilder. If he sees my style, if he sees my footwork, he'll realize I'm no Arthur Spilka or Chris Areola. And when I get in there, well, most of my fights end up in knockouts. I'm 100% uh, power. Once I touch them, they are getting hurt. <laughs> Not surprising what he said about uh, Deontay Wilder there. So he goes on to talk about Anthony Joshua. He says, Joshua is overrated, overhyped. I am going to break that jaw of his. Definitely one of the weakest heavyweight champs. It comes down to the basics. You have a lot of guys that have a lot of punching power and basic skills, and that's not enough. Joshua is a basic heavyweight, a one-two fighter. I would cut uh, that halfway across the ring. Uh, sorry, I could cut that halfway across the ring. He goes on to say about Joshua, I'd fight Joshua when the timing is right. I personally don't want to go and fight Joshua just because I'm his next. I think that when the time is right, it will be mad. It will be me and him at the MGM Grand on pay-per-view. One of those super sweepstakes fights. Interesting there what he said about Joshua, isn't it? Because he seems willing to fight Deontay Wilder now after trashing him. But when it comes to Joshua, he's like, oh, I'll fight him when the time's right. 
<laughs> so can we take Jarrell Miller's, or at least some of Jarrell Miller's trash talk with a pinch of salt? I think it would be wise to do so. Anyway, he goes on to talk about Tyson Fury. He says, I like Tyson Fury. I still want to break his fingers in half, but he is good for the sport of boxing. And I feel like me and him for a main event will sell out, will sell any arena out. He talks a lot of smack and he definitely, uh, he talks a lot of smack and he does back it up, but he is still a jokester and I am real. I will smash him if he tries to step on me in the press conference. I will knock him out same way I will for anyone else. A fight between us two would be like Comedy Central on steroids. It would be bananas. It would sell out kind of like Mayweather Pacquiao. <laughs> I feel like we can capture the heavyweight division and put it back on the map just because of the way he talks. As an American heavyweight, I feel like we have to take over American soil first. I'd fight, uh, I'll fight anywhere and anytime but on the business side, I have to take over my country first. So there's him talking about Fury. Slightly more complimentary, but still talking about snapping his fingers in half. Whatever the hell that means. And uh, he, he goes on to talk about the heavyweight division in general. He says, they, bet, uh, they better get motivated now because I'm coming. I'm hungry and I'm motivated. Showtime is having me on the main event on national television. I'm telling you I'm coming and I'm coming to stay. They better get ready. I'm different to all the heavyweights out there. I'm not chasing a payday. I'm chasing a legacy. I'm trying to change the layout. I'm trying to change the game. I'm trying to change my future and make history at the same time. Again, I have to go back to what he said about Joshua. He said, I'm not after a payday, but then he said, I'll fight Joshua when the time's right. Joshua is a relatively green fighter at the moment. The same could be said about Jarrell Miller, but saying when the time's right, isn't it right to take Joshua now? While he's still, in the eyes of many people, flawed and vulnerable? Wouldn't it be the right time now? Many fighters out there, for example, Malik Scott, who did challenge Anthony Joshua and did want to fight him. In several interviews after he challenged Joshua, he said, People, the, the, the heavyweights out there that want to fight Joshua, they need to fight him now. Because down the line, he's going to be nearly invincible. This is what Malik Scott is saying. This is a guy who's trying to fight Joshua now. He's saying, you need to fight him now. Because down the line, this guy's going to be a problem. So perhaps Jarrell Miller don't agree with that. Perhaps he don't see Joshua improving. Maybe Joshua won't improve massively in the way that Malik Scott thinks he's going to and won't be the massive problem for the heavyweight division that he envisages. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about Jarrell, big baby Miller. How do you think he's going to do against Fred Cassie? Will he be able to stop him? Will he look impressive? How many of you have watched Jarrell Miller in the past and what do you think of him? Are you impressed at all? I know he doesn't have the most uh, athletic physique, but just because he don't have that athletic physique it don't mean he can't be dangerous obviously if you're somebody who wants to see the absolute best from Jarrell Miller you'd want to see him get in better condition and perhaps he will appear in better condition for the Cassie fight but even in the condition he's in right now maybe he can still be a problem for people he's certainly a very very big strong man he's obviously very confident or appears to be let's see what happens and what do you make of his comments on all these heavyweights out there. You think there are some valid comments there? I think most people, it seems at the moment, or at least 50% of boxing fans agree with him on Deontay Wilder. What about the stuff he said about Joshua and Tyson Fury, etc., etc.? And what do you think about his opinion of himself? <laughs> Drop it all in the comment section below, people. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.